What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about how water is so special, but the government poisons the water because they know the truth. Now, first things first, you know, I always got to, you know what I'm saying, give an example, but um, see, water is a liquid crystal, obviously. Water has memory because water is a living thing. Now, in today's age, our water is filled with uh uh, lead, fluoride, other heavy metals, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you put magnets on your um, water pipes, you know, water faucets and stuff like that, when the water starts coming out, uh, the magnets will attract the heavy metals that's in the water. Will you see this? No, because they put a chemical in the water to make the water look clean and clear, you know what I'm saying? Chlorine, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Other chemicals because the water is really dirty, but when you put your water in the sun, I call it designer water, like the song. <laughs> you put your water in the sun, um, the sun kills, I mean, cleanses out all the, uh, it purifies the water. It, get, it gets rid of all the fluoride and the rest of the heavy metals that the magnets couldn't get, but uh, that's really still not enough because if water was in its purest form, you know, um, water can heal your body, you know what I'm saying? That's why uh, dehydration that's when that comes effect when like you drink a lot of juice pop and stuff like that get dehydrated you know your chest starts to feel dry you know your throat starts to feel dry because soda has hella fucking sugar in it arsenic uh fluoride you know things of that nature you know but anyway um it's this movie right called tuck everlasting now this movie is significant to me because in this movie right basically what the director and the writers was trying to tell you is that when you get water in its purest form it can heal you and water can it can make your life everlasting right that's why the, the movie is called tuck everlasting now in this movie tuck everlasting you know um it's this family or whatever right and they were in the forest just roaming around because i think they was looking for it uh they were looking for something, flapjacks or something, because they used to always eat pancakes or something like that or whatever. Now, uh, they was in the woods or whatever, and they was looking for something, and they came across this little magical fountain or spring water, whatever you want to call it, and they all drunk this water, right? And once the family drunk this water, they could never die. You see, the water was so pure, it purified their body to where they could never die because water in its purest form can heal you. It's a liquid crystal, you know what I'm saying? Everlasting life. That's why they poison the water, I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you. Now, um, now in this movie, it's crazy because, like, I forgot, I think it was the son or something like that. He had fell off a tree and broke his neck, but he realized that he didn't die. And uh, it was just, like, a lot of stuff kept happening to him. Like, some, one of the people in the family, they got bit by a snake or whatever, and they didn't die. And then they realized that's because they drunk out the water. And it made their life everlasting. You see what I'm saying? This movie is significant because they're trying to tell you, you know, if you come across water in its pure state, it will heal you. You see what I'm saying? That's why they poison the water, you know. Just look at the movies. They're telling you the hints, you know what I'm saying? But some people can see the hints, some people can't. I'm glad I'm one of the people that can see the hints, you know what I'm saying? So you never heard of this movie, look it up, man. It's very eye-opening. 